He's just returned Intelligence from... has decoded the list of Riemann targets that you recovered from the vault. I want you to infiltrate one of these targets and determine why Obasek would attack it. The Vahar system is still technically part of the Romulan Star Empire, but Ferengi speculators have moved in and the Empress has done nothing to remove them. The beet-eared little money grubbers have reopened the mines and are now doing business with anyone with Latmer. You will go to the Vahar system under the pretense of negotiating a trade deal for the Empire. Talk to Madron, the operator of the mines. Convince him to allow you access. Find out all you can. Once we know why Obasek and the Remans are targeting these mines, then we will know how to proceed. This gentleman is a senior member of uh, the Klingon intelligence and we've been doing some work for him uh, and shall we say his suggestion to do something is as close to an absolute uh, instruction from the uh, mouth of God as you're likely to get uh, so um, yeah we got to accept the mission um, but let's listen to what he has to say here about the Remans and why would they would want to attack. So I'd, I'd have to say it to you otherwise. The Remans are used to dealing with Romulans. Like an abused Targ, they now fear all who approach. I had great hopes for the Remans in the days after Shinzon's rebellion and the destruction of Romulus. They threw off their shackles and stood as the Romulan equals. The High Council even considered an alliance with the Remans, but they were too suspicious and paranoid for much to come of it. It is better this way. The Remans' fear makes them weak. Okay. Right. So, the Remans are, are a, if you like, a, a, an under-race within the Romulan Star Empire. And have been for years. Uh, the Romulans came from a planet called Romulus, the Remans from another planet, Remus, in uh, the same uh, system. Uh, and yeah, they were treated really awfully. Uh, the last mission we had, we had, we went to a, a Romulan base and discovered uh, some Remans attempting to extract some illegal uh, uh, weapons that um, Phaleron weapons that nobody on their right mind would want to use uh, kills all living creatures or living things down to uh, uh, bacteria uh, and beyond um, so nobody nobody ought to be using them why they would the, uh, the Romulans had it there well that's another story um, but we discovered the leader of these Remans was a man called Obisek now we've we had also uh, uh, discovered a target list and we managed to extract uh, that's what they've just told us some targets and we've been sent there to go and uh, to find out so the terrorist in question is Obisek and his Remans uh, organization. He might seem a freedom fighter for uh, the Remans, but we are, the Klingons are hoping to use him as uh, a tool to get uh, at the, the remains of the Romulan Star Empire um, and possibly others as well. Uh, but we need to go and find out what he's actually about right so we have a mission we also have some things flashing at us well we've sold some things uh, let's quickly just see if there's anything there let's go around towards the planet without flying through the sun and we'll begin the mission
Right, so I'll read what he has to say to us. This is the uh, engineer. Um, Captain, the Remans were targeting a magnesite mine in this area, but the list recovered didn't uh, have its exact coordinates. We know we're in the right area, but all the moons in this system are inhabited and our sensors are being affected by the magnesite. We need to contact each moon to try and determine which one the Remans were actually targeting. Right, so fly to each of the moons and identify what's going on. Well, try and work out what's going on. We'll pick up the... Uh, the crafting materials here. Might as well do as much looting as we can. Little mini game. We'll hail the planet. Melanie Dion and her minions may have sworn fealty to the Klingon Empire, but we did not. I've been me for no time. We've now a feet of stroke. thought that they got the hint after the second uh, the, the, if they didn't get the hint after the first one then th when the second one uh, it's the sort of welcome that Klingons like right I noticed in that fight, this that's possibly the first ship to ship that we've done with this particular uh, warship that we've just traded up to, really, uh, the middle of last uh, session. I noticed our torpedo auto fired, and I don't want this torpedo to auto fire, so I've just switched that off. So we'll hail the moon. This moon is private property. No solicitors, beggars, or Klingons allowed. These people are rude and insolent. This is a ship of the Klingon Empire. They should speak to us with more respect. Yeah, I agree, Bolera, but I'm not sure that uh, uh, we would win friends and influence people that way. And that's part of what our mission is as well. That was a a Riemann there actually who was talking to us. But there's no reason to suggest that um, that they were uh, part of the Riemann resistance or anything. No, we won't hail because I know the That's what I'm after. We'll go collect the loot and then we'll go and um, beam down to the planet or hail the planet or the moon come on hail the moon hello pal. my good friends I'm so happy to meet you Perhaps you are in the market for some high-quality magnesite? Hmm? We have the finest ore in the quadrant. On behalf of the miners and residents here, I'm more than happy to welcome you to our home. Please, transport to the surface. 
Okay. Unfortunately, the large amount of extremely pure magnesite ore in the core of our little world will interfere with your sensors. For safety reasons, I must insist that you use the transporter signal enhancers that I have installed at my own expense. Also, I know Klingons are fond of their battle parties, but could you please restrict the number of crew you bring down to the surface? My people here aren't used to strangers, and you wouldn't want to disrupt their work, would you? Beam down to the surface. We're ready to beam down on your commands. Beam to the surface. Right, who to take down? First officer, the tactical officer that um, Worf uh, brought or uh, gave us. She's a possibility if it goes to hand to hand. I'm not sure the engineer is the way to go. Um, no, she's too much of a doctor. Rack is a possibility. Combination of medical and no, we'll go with I think we'll go with the close combat skills of Belera uh, uh Belera. Right. Okay, so let's go down to the surface. On we go. Come on. Okay. Did you need something? It's a long story. After the destruction of Romulus, I joined a group of colonists looking for a new place to settle. We chose to form a new agrarian community on Viranaut, a pastoral world on the edge of Romulan space. Our colony was attacked and destroyed. I managed to evade the attackers and get off-world with a small group of people. My luck ran out here, and I've been stuck ever since. What kind of work do you do? I'm a biochemist by trade. I specialize in hemocyanin, a division of hematology, working with copper-based blood. On Viranaut, I handled a lot of issues related to food compatibility and local biochemistry. These days, I mostly handle minor medical issues and nutritional deficiencies for the people living here. I can't afford passage off of this move. I've managed to stay out of debt, but I don't know how long that will last. Have you heard anything strange locally? This whole mining facility is nothing but strange. That Ferengi, Madra, Rides everyone hard to make a profit. But just when it looks like things will get too bad, he turns around and does something generous. Folks have occasionally disappeared, and not by leaving on a ship. People here for weeks or months will suddenly vanish. People talk about seeing strange things, or being kept out of parts of the mine by the guards. But there's something deeper in those minds. I'm sure of it. Okay. Right, so there's definitely something weird going on and guards in the mines. Mm. Okay. Have you seen my brother? Tell me about your life here. My life. My life is unimportant. It's my brother. I can't find him. I last saw him two days ago. Madrin assigned both of us to work in the upper levels of the mine. Toshin's drill bit broke, and he needed a new one. I know I should have gone with him. It's not safe to be in the mine alone. Now he's gone. Why is it safe? There's a group of people down there who treat the mine like it's their own. 
I don't know why Madryn tolerates them, but they make life miserable for the rest of us. They steal and terrorize the weak. I once saw them dragging a woman to the lower levels, and I, I, I never saw her again. She wasn't the only one. Many people have disappeared. I thought if my brother and I kept our heads down, we would be safe, but maybe they took him. Murderers. Murderers. If they killed my brother, I'll kill them all. Is there anything else I should know? If you go into the mine, watch for the silver spheres. There are creatures in the dark. Devils. They're made of stone. Nothing can hurt them, and their touch burns. I've seen them moving around in the tunnels. Anywhere you see the silver spheres, the monsters are not far away. There's a classic Star Trek episode called The Devil in the Dark. And um, that's what I think that's referring to. I think it's called the devil in the dark, but anyway. If you fail one of the mini games, you just don't get as much. It's not as though you don't get anything. It's just you don't get as much. But the amounts that they hand out aren't particularly high, but it adds up. We don't uh, see strangers here very often. What do you want? Tell me about your life here. What can I say? We exist. And mine, because there's nothing but rocks on this forsaken planet. If I'm lucky, I dig enough ore to make my quota, and Modern pays me. If he pays me, I can eat and have a warm place to sleep. If we don't make our quotas, there's nothing. Even if I do have latinum, most of it goes to Modern to pay my debts, and the rest he takes in exchange for the supplies he imports. I would leave, but I owe too much to Modern to ever earn enough to buy my passage off this place. Besides, where would I go? Tell me about Modern. Every morning, the first thing I do when I wake is curse that Ferengi's name. Madrin found this moon about two years after the destruction of the homeworld. Most of our equipment was broken or useless, the supplies were gone, and we were starving. After some negotiations, Madrin had his contract, and we had food. We're supposed to be working with him, but he's the only one who benefits from our labor. Madrin owns the only working ship here, so no supplies come in without him. He negotiates all of the ore contracts, so most of the latinum goes into his pocket. And he sets the prices for food, medicine, and equipment. So everyone here owes him more than we can ever repay. He owns us now. I hate him for that. But I can't live without him. Sounds like a nice guy. Not. Why don't you fight Madrin and take back what's yours? A few people tried to take Madrin's ship once, when he was sleeping off the Tronya he drinks. It has a biometric lock. Nothing on the ship responds to anyone but him. So what would we gain by fighting? A moon full of rocks and no one to sell them to? No food and no way to get more? No way to leave and no hope? I hate Madrin, but because of him, my children don't cry out in hunger or shiver from the cold. Do you get help from the Empire? The Empire? <laughs> what Empire? Our Empire turned to dust with the loss of the homeworld. If you're rich or in the military, then maybe there's something. I hear the people in Sela's Shining City and the Raytor system live quite well, as long as they obey her commands. For the rest of us, there's nothing but dust and regret. Right. Very interesting picture being painted here. Talk to Madrin, the man in question. On behalf of everyone on this forsaken rock, let me be the first to welcome you to Hathara. 
As you can see, we don't have time for pleasantries. And I'm not sharing my Tranya stash with you. So, why don't we skip the chit-chat and get down to business? Of course. I've heard you are an excellent source of magnesite. What makes your mine better than the others in the sector? Unfortunately, I cannot call this mine my own. I'm just a middleman. Out of the goodness of my heart, I help the residents here pass on the products of their hard work to commercial entities such as yourself. The minuscule transaction fee and trade tariff I keep to offset my expenses is figured into the unit cost of the oil. My operation has become one of the best in the area because of the high demand for my services from both sides. I provide the best mining equipment and supplies in the sector to the miners, while my customers get competitive pricing on the ore they need. Do you have any more information about the mines themselves? I don't pay much attention to that. Miners have empty carts and they return with ones filled with ore. If you're... If you're that interested, you could visit the mines themselves, but I don't recommend it. It's such a dirty, disagreeable business. And I'm convinced that breathing ore dust for too long is terrible for you. The miners who live near my quarters used to keep me up night after night with their dreadful coughing. I had to install soundproofing just to get some sleep. Are you sure you wouldn't rather have... Are you sure you wouldn't rather look at the ore I have for sale? Thanks, but I'd like to talk to the miners first. Really? Suit yourself. Just remember, I have an exclusive contract to export magnesite ore from this moon. If you try to cut me out of your deals, you'll regret it. I have just a few questions uh, before we conduct any business. I'll be back when I'm, when I'm done. Madrid won't answer any questions about why the Remians might be targeting this place for fear of scaring away uh, us away from a possible sale. Perhaps if we ask some of the locals about what's going on here, they'll be able to provide more information. I'm sorry, I, I really can't talk at the moment. I have to finish a survey of the area so the miners can start work on a new mine shaft. Is there anything I can do to help? As much as I'd appreciate someone else to lug around this heavy equipment, it's all very delicate, and I'd only trust a capable scientist to help me. If I encounter someone who can help, I'll send them your way. So I'm going to this area that's being flagged up. Right, so, bullied refugee. Talk to bullied refugee. I can't talk to you. I can't talk to anyone. I'm on the run. And if those thugs see me talking to you, then you'll be in danger too. Is there anything I can do to help? I need someone who's not afraid of a fight. There's a group here that's beating and stealing from us. Madrin doesn't do anything to stop it. For all I know, he's getting a cut of everything they take. They're making life miserable for all of us. Be willing to help? Doesn't sound very Klingon, but count me in. There's a group of bullies that have been stealing from us. If we don't give them what they want, they beat us. I had a friend. All he was trying to do here was feed his family. Be a good man. He had an old bottle of ale. He said it was from the home world. One of those thugs wanted it. Now my friend is dead. 
too weak to stop them. I know that. And now I have my friend's children to feed in addition to my own. But if someone were to teach them a lesson, this camp would be a better place for all of us. Hey. So, sounds like something that we can do something about. See a way through there. Maybe through there. Go into tactical mode. Aha! What kind of Putting an end to them. Right, round this corner. Looks as though this. Okay. Thanking me for uh, my help, and he's sat in the burning plasma. Mm. Yeah. Don't think too much of these thugs. Let's talk to this gentleman. I don't have time to talk to you right now. I need to repair this drill so I can make a living. Is there anything I can do to help? Not unless you know an engineer who'd be willing to take a few moments out of their busy schedule to help me fix this hunk of junk. If I encounter anyone who can help, I'll try I'll send them your way. Talk to her. Talk to this gentleman. There's one over there. on true stranger that's a welcome or hello or something along that line so that's what Joel and true means it's is the Romulan greeting have you always lived here oh, my family and I have been here all our lives it's a hard life but it's all I know my mother used to tell me tales of the home world she'd talk about the plazas in Rate or vacations she spent with her father on the shores of the Apnic Sea and she would tell me about my father, who gave up his place in the military evacuation ship so she could live. He, he never knew he had a child. She would tell me these stories, and later, when she thought I was asleep, she would cry. Tell me about Matron. He charges us too much and pays too little. He's like everyone else in this world, out for himself. Uh, doesn't let us starve. And if a child needs medicine, they get it. The many here grumble and hate him. But I, I cannot. If I were in his position and his life was in my hands, can I say that I would act any differently than he does? A philosopher? What can you tell me about this area? Stay in the settlement. Don't go down into the mine. And whatever you do, don't leave this area. I do not wish you harm, stranger. And there are many dangers here. There is a group. They rule the mine. And they are dangerous. Even Madrin fears them. And if you avoid them, they will ignore you. And defy them, and they will turn on you. Last week, a good man died because he would not give them what they wanted. He was not the first. There are many monsters on this moon that you would be wise to avoid. Outside of the settlement, there are packs of wild animals. 
If you take a warrigal from its mother when it's very young, it can be tamed. If you wait too long, they are savage. Packs of wild warrigal roam the edges of our settlement. Often they prowl the refuse piles, looking for scraps of food. A pack of warrigal can kill even a strong man. And you must be careful when you are in their territory. And they are not the only monsters here. The miners tell stories about creatures made of stone who can burn you with cinders. I have not seen one of these creatures myself, but I know that many people who enter the mine do not leave it. Have you seen anyone suspicious around here? You're the first outsider I have seen in a long time. There's no reason for anyone to want to come here. Right. We definitely need to get down to the mine, don't we? Talk to that gentleman. That's the mine entrance. Dealt with three gangs. There's a Warrigal. You can see why it wouldn't take much for one of the uh, for a pack of them to t uh, pull down a person. Thank you. Those guys have been giving everyone a lot of trouble. These thugs are part of a larger group that operates deep inside the Magnesite mine. They control the lower levels, and no one who goes down there uninvited ever comes back. I don't know what's so important down there that's worth hurting us to protect it. Maybe if you went down there, you could get some answers. Right. Okay. Let's go talk to Madrin and get down in the mine. what you need increase profits sometimes the uh, speech bubbles are crazy talk to Madrin you want to go in the mine are you really interested in buying any magnesite or are you just here to cause trouble because if it's the last one I know some place you can start a little ruckus there's a gang that controls the bottom levels of the mine. They won't even let me in there. Previously, I allowed them to keep their little kingdom in exchange for information. But lately, they've been more trouble than they're worth. And the intel they're feeding me is useless. Honestly, who doesn't know about the green invasion of the fairy space? I'll take that information to heart. Right, okay. Bottom levels of the mine. Yeah, I do have my buckle. the magnesite mine okay so we're at the bottom level some loot surveyor of some sort by looks of it Some maintenance work. Oh. We have a gentleman over there. Who 
talk to them. What do you want? I'd like to enter this area. This area is restricted. Only people my friends and I like me it. And I don't like you! Maybe if you got to know me a little better, you'd learn to like me. You don't belong here. I'm done talking with you. Leave now! It's been a pleasure wasting my time with you. What do you want? For you to get out of my way. Field rations. Wow. Examine the Romulan campsite. Captain, there's a series of pressure plates located in this area. They're low tech, but the Romulan may have resorted to outdated security measures because of the interference from the magnesite veins in this cavern. The problem is that the magnesite is making our tricorders almost useless. If there's anything on this moon that the Remans would want to eliminate badly enough to use Thaleron weapons, it has to be here. We're going to have to figure out how to use the pressure plates to reveal uh, whatever the Romulans are trying to hide. I suspect that we need to activate two of them to open the door. So that's not working there. Oh, there's the other. Nope. Life form not detected on alternative. Right. Okay. So but let, let's get you to stand somewhere useful. No, nope, not there. That will do nicely. Locking positional coordinates. Ah, coordinates locked in. Right. Open the hidden door. So come back. hidden door. Ooh, I've stood too close to the door. Right. So what's in here? All due respect, sir. There is a difference we between protecting guy. the Empire from her enemies and provoking There is much here you would not understand. This is Harkiv, Colonel Harkiv. As do you, I will not forget your insubordination, Commander. The Tall Shiar has no place for officers who cannot follow orders. I'll be in the command center. Colonel, they were civilians! Their blood is on our hands! Get used to it. There will be more. Speaking of which, why don't you clean out the brig before you become a resident there? Uh, that's Colonel Harkiv of 
in, uh, Romulan Imperial Intelligence. We came up against him before we went to the Romulan base. Right. Sorry, the analysis is the analysts in this room look that they're completely engaged in their work. I wouldn't be surprised if we can sneak past them without being noticed. She's using stealth gear anyway. console. Ensign Krimnan is dead. Harkiv ordered him to explore the tunnels. We found organic remains and his fully discharged disruptor was nearby. It looked like he had been melted. I think we should wall off this section of the mine and not disturb the creatures down here. Six people have already died. Five were miners and therefore expendable. But Krimnan showed promise. I know that in time he would have been a fine officer. I've asked Colonel Harkiv to request reinforcements. He's determined to kill people exploring this mine. Let him kill recruits. Well, sense in that. We're drilling uh, near when we broke through a wall into a chamber that hadn't appeared on our scans. Last Bagdasite, it blocks everything. Senses, tricorders, they're all useless. The chamber is large, it should be suitable for an expansion of the base. Uh, there were several spherical orbs in it. We've yet to determine the nature of these orbs, but Yannick uh, thinks they are pretty. She kept one for her quarters. I've asked for permission to study the orbs. They remind me of a Federation report I read once. I can't remember the details. It was something about the Janus system. Right. Is that the same? Yeah, that's the same. Hey, up. Organic remains, perhaps? Another one. Definitely melted to the floor. Oh, we've got a Centurion engineer firing on something that's moving. They're not watching it our way. like a hoarder. They made short work of that turret. It looks like they communicate with Horta. No kill I, no kill I. Messages burned deep into the floor of the chamber and acid sizzles around the edges of the letters. Right. Is there anything in here? Well, there's the spherical objects. And this must be the chamber that they broke through to. Okay, so there's not a lot more here. Let's go around They're very 
very much engrossed with their work, aren't they? I almost feel sorry for you, but I have my own men to work about. I'll be joining you in there soon enough. If Hakeev has his way, we all will. the missing miners. This was the... Surrender! Enough! I surrender! I value my life more than the Tal Shiar secrets. I'll tell you anything you want to know. But first, you must tell me why you are here, and what you want. Why does the Riemann Resistance want to destroy this base? The Riemanns know about this base? Impossible! Only the leadership of the Tal Shiar know we're here. The Empress herself couldn't find us. I don't believe you, but it makes no difference. This is not a military installation. We listen and record here. Nothing more. There are many targets that those Riemann scum will find much more tempting. Enough of these lies. Are you sure you want to end things like this? We don't have any choice, because we haven't got the other option. Yes. because we need her body. Well, it appears that we... it thinks that we've got her code already. Let the prisoners out. the logs on the Klingon Empire. Chancellor Jempuk facing increased challenges. Uh, da, 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 yeah. Yada 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 yada. Right, copy it all onto the Starfleet activity. Captain Sulu's applied for transfer to the uh, Klingon front of the line to the Klingon conflict. Well, Yada yada yada. Again, all recorded. Romulan Empire. So they're in, in, in recording logs on themselves. Increased power use in the Royal, uh, royal Palace indicates the lower levels may be in use. Yeah, it's accepting bribes, hurry, meetings with sailor. Yeah, okay. Archaeological survey, the recent exhibition, unexpected high value find, Tholians, there's all sorts, yeah, right, fine. So, what's on the other consoles? One of the true way logs is Cardassian space. So, yada yada yada. 
but uh, it looks from that that they think that the Cardassians are moving more into the uh, Federation sphere. Borgs. Resistance is futile. Mm, okay. We all know resistance isn't futile. Janek is fighting with Harkiv again. Harkiv takes shuttle uh, Chief Medical Officer 2. Encrypted messages, unknown recipients, recommended transmission be investigated further. Right, so they even skip spying on themselves and their own kernel. Unlocked door. Right. lost one of our Romulans. Looks like we might have done. That's a pity. How did you find this place? What else do you mean? No matter. You won't be revealing anything to your superiors. It's disappointing I cannot give you a proper but I have much to do with literature. The self-destruct sequence has begun. This base will be your tomb. Console active. Download the records. Right. We've got the records. Let's get out of here. Oh, we've got the four miners back again. They must have got caught in a uh, subway. Come on. Come on, keep coming with us. Looking at the map, and I can see that they're behind. Me. I'm sure I like running through uh, falling rock quite like that. It's fairly light if I can kick it along like that. We still got four miners, and uh, so there's Blair and four miners, right? Let's get out of here. Ah, uh, we always like leaving an impression on people. This is leaving an impression on the mine as well. Come on, keep coming. They're not all clones, but they're pretty close. Take lift to surface. Gift return. That's <laughs> confront Madrin about the Tel Shiar base. I should imagine the uh, butler that we're carrying should be make him consider quite uh, carefully what he says. Talk to Madrin. There was an, uh, a fumig infestation of Telshiar spies that are in there. I just fumigated. Telshiar? I'm shocked! But I had no idea. I certainly wouldn't have sent you down there if you... Hey, you didn't happen to find anything valuable down there, did you? Because if you did, remember, I have an exclusive contract. 
Stop with the lies, Madrin. I know you knew who and what was down there. And what's it to you? This is a rough area of the quadrant, you know, and they're good neighbors. If you're not easily embarrassed, the cameras and listening devices are everywhere. I haven't had a single problem with Orions or Herodians since they moved in. And it doesn't hurt that I acquired a lot of bit of information here and there. I'm a businessman, and information is big business. Do you know anything about what they did recently discovered? Unfortunately, no. I'll admit, I was trying to find out, but their systems were locked down tight. I'm sure whatever it was had to be big news. Everyone was on edge. Janik and Hakeev were barely speaking, and I once heard Hakeev mumbling something about borders. Some... Someone's been pulling his strings, but I don't know who. I do know the Tal Shiar takes security very seriously. If you manage to pull any files from their system, you can expect them to be heavily encoded. Trust me on that. I speak from experience. Continue. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go talk a hundred Romulans into digging a new mine to replace the one you destroyed. My profit margin for this month is ruined. Just the one month, oh dear. Treat those miners well, Madrin, or I'll be back. Decrypt the Telshar files in your ready room. We'll find them later. Okay, so to get on board or actually be inside the ship as opposed to outside the ship, if you use the drop down. Visit Starship Bridge. If you'd like to leave your current location, visit your Starship Bridge. Now there's a number of different layouts and so on, but this is the basic Klingon one. I've not changed it. Right, so library that's what we're at. Uh, we don't want check duty officers, we want access library files. Decrypt uh, tell Shia files at Hyper System. Okay. Right, so there's a number of files communication file, communication file, personnel file, unknown file type, and communication file. Right, so let's uh, start at the top. Further. Activities of noting Klingon space. Emperor Catholic has been spotted in Breen space. Chancellor Jampok as a potential adversary in Jarog. House of Torg was brought uh, before the House High C uh, C Council for commendation by the House of Martok. Don't think that's quite right. Force, uh, Force of Three Battle Tournament has a new champion. Right, let's analyze the file structure. No anomalous data structures found in file. File is referenced by another file representative. Cross reference with Klingon intelligence records. The House of Targ was bought, brought before the High Council with com for commendation by the House of Martok. Change the faulty information. Oh. Uh, the inaccuracy found the House of Targ lost its seat on the Klingon High Council after evidence was revealed that the House leaders collaborated the Romulans to attack the House of Martok. Change the faulty information. Uh, accommodation to act of treason. It's gone green, which is always a good sign. Oh, open recipient. Analyze file structure. File is encrypted using a multivariable pass key that's referenced to other files uploaded further plethora of precedents and referendum. Apply pass key and it's detected. Listening detected. Okay, so we've got some of the stuff. Select open plethora notable activities in the Federation United Federation of Planets. Federation Embassy established on Defira Prime. Uh, Federation Council extends aid to Cardassia Prime and agrees to, to continue defense pact. Uh, Klingon Rom uh, sorry, Klingon Federation peace talks disrupted on Regulus 4. Um, Vulcan Ambassador Sorketh retires to Monastery on Pajem. Mm, a 
Okay, cross analyze file structure. No anonymous data structure is found within file. File is referenced by another file reciprocity. Uh, cross reference with Klingon intelligence records. Ambassador uh, Soka retires to change faulty information. It was no, it definitely wasn't Ambassador Wharf. Retires to expose. That's possibly a gem for chat riser. No, the ambassador, if he was going to retire a monastery, would be on for gem, not a riser. So, yeah, open for city. Apply capacity key. Ah, uh, we've got more of it unlocking. Select a key. Uh, right. Precedence is a personnel file. Chain of command for uh, listening post hyphosis uh, hyper system. Commanding officer C commander Hakiv. Executive commander Janik. Chief medical officer Lieutenant Livok. Uh, Chief Engineering Officer Lieutenant Taris. Okay, cross reference. Oh, let's just analyze it in case. Nope, there's nothing changed. Hang on, partial sequences numbers. The officer ID numbers uh, in this. That's a. Right, partial I, uh, around in the ID numbers in the some of the previous two. File is. Uh, referenced by another file reciprocity. Change faulty information. Ah, so one, one, one and one is two. Two, one and two is three. Two and three is five. Eight and one is no, it's not three. So that doesn't add up. Three and four. Again, that doesn't add up. Nope, they don't like that. Change faulty information. That's not it. Not sure quite. Yeah, uh, so that was that was. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense that one, I'm afraid. But there are only three options: open file reciprocity, apply pass key. Got most of it in now. Select a new file, communication file. Senate votes to give Empress Sailor power to override rulings in of Imperial courts. Ambassador Jarok. Visits Andura, Andorra, Raymond rebels attack transports in Iota Pavonis, Senate ratifies a new tax on dilithium, analyze no anonymous cross reference with Tingon. It was no record of Ambassador Jarek visiting Andorra. Well, there's no planet in Wolf. Three five nine, but I suppose you can still visit the museum there. They would have a record if it was, and uh, that would be Kronos. They'd have a record. So let's go with Vulcan. Yep. Right. Open reciprocity. Apply pass key. Aha! Secret Raymond base detected in the Dera uh, system. Listening post emphasis has detected an increased subspace communication ships uh, traveling to and from the Defira system uh, sorry Dera system analysis of the traffic communication and ship traffic reveals patterns for obfuscation normally employed by Riemann forces Telshar forces then intercepted a ship leaving the Defira system and captured 47 Raymond civilians uh, the crew, passengers and crew were summarily executed by the, on the orders of uh, Colonel Hakri. The captain and first officers were uh, preserved for questioning. Under interrogation, the captain of the Riemann vessel provided a security key that could be used to decipher in 
encrypted communications sent to the Defira system, uh, sorry, Dera system. The encrypted messages proved there was a base in this area of space being used by the Riemann resistance. Recommendation Talshar ship should uh, be sent to the Dera system uh, immediately to capture this base and inhabit its inhabitants. Talshar is planning to attack a uh, Riemann base. We should get this information to Tamek. Great Hall on Cronus immediately. Report to Tomek. Return to Tomek. Can we actually... Obasek is justified in his way. anger. The Tal Shah records you recovered from their listening post indicate that they have been tormenting the Remans for months. Their bases have been attacked, their ships destroyed, and their families killed or imprisoned. There is no more honorable reason to pick up a blade than to defend your home and family. However, Obisek was willing to use Thaleron weapons to destroy a handful of Tal Shiar operatives. Using a hammer to swat a club fly is not the warrior's way. It is madness. Okay. So which makes more sense, shields or armour? Which he could do with a shield. He could do with armour. She could have both. Yeah, I'm definitely weak in that section, so let's go with shield because a fighter needs it. Congratulations, Commander. The mines in the Hofer system are right for conquest. <laughs> it is good that you look at the world with a conqueror's eye. There is much there that would be of use to us. Plentiful resources, a ready workforce, a place to prepare our ships to strike at Sela's forces. I will take your proposal to the High Council. If they agree, perhaps you will have the honor of leading the invasion force. Right, but 